So I woke up this morning craving fish tacos. It was weird. I don't know why. I haven't had fish tacos in a while, but the second I woke up, I was like, fish tacos. It has to happen today. So uh, I'm at the store right now getting some ingredients. Pre-made bacon, ready to eat. Hmm, interesting. Let's try it. All right, so I got all the ingredients. Now we just need to go catch the fish. Check out that catfish. So we just made it to the lake. It's actually really windy. So uh, that could be good or bad. But before we start fishing, I have a thing to show y'all real quick. Boom. Check it out, guys. This is the all new limited edition tactical green Samar reel from Okuma. Let's open these bad boys up. Check them out. Get one rigged up. And that is what we're going to be using in today's catch and cook so let's go ahead and open this up so this is the samar but it's in tactical green once again limited edition they sent me two 1000 size but these reels come in the 500 1000 3000 and 4000 sizes in the spinning and 500 and 1000 in the spinning bait feeder so once again this is a thousand size this is perfect for panfish or even all the ice fishing anglers out there Let's go ahead and open it up. Check it out. Oh, look at that tactical green, dude. That is so sick. That looks freaking sick with the black. I freaking dig it. I already opened this one. I already got it all spooled up with the line here. So let's open this one as well. This one is spooled with 10 pound soft steel, ready to go. So this is the one I will be using today. Let's get it all tight. I'm gonna talk about these a little bit and then we will go to the fishing. So these reels feature multi-disc carbon fiber drag washers, seven ball bearings plus one reverse bearing for ultimate smoothness, a quick set anti-reverse roller bearing, precision machine cut brass pinion gear, a corrosion resistant body, side plate, and rotor. It features cyclonic flow rotor technology and a on and off auto trip bait feeding system on the TGF model. So these reels right here are not the bait feeder models. If you fish a lot using live bait and you want your bait to run freely, get the TGF model and that is perfect for live bait fishing. It has a rigid metal handle design for maximum stability and it's lightweight EVA handle knobs for comfort. The 1000 size reel has a five to one gear ratio and that will retrieve 24 inches of line per spin. The max drag on this reel is six pounds and it only weighs 6.8 ounces. Guys, if you want one of these reels, check out the link below, but it is only $59.99, super cheap and it is an awesome reel. Go check out the links, but let's go ahead and get this guy rigged up on a pole and go catch some fish. Let's get that tight. Boom, there it is. This is not the rod that's gonna stay on, but for now, this is what we're using. All right, so I've been gone for the past two weeks, so I have no idea how the fishing is here at my local lake but i got a whole bunch of white lures because the last time i was here these shad were running like crazy so we got a bunch of white i'm gonna start with this blade bait here i don't know about you but to me that looks fire let's go down to the docks and throw a few casts Chewy. man that looks disgusting <laughs> disgusting as in good it looks so sick i love it freaking love it <laughs> Kids challenging me over here, taunting me. Nothing yet, man. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, heck yeah. Thanks for watching, man. Thank you. What's What's your name? Zeus. Zeus. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I just got here, so nothing yet. Yeah. Be looking for that video later, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Fish popping off right there. What's up, Adam? What's up, man? Where's the jumbo? Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it done someday. One of these days? Yeah. <laughs> good luck. You doing good? I just got here. Uh, Nothing yet. The other day I was painting the boat and I leaned forward and got paint all in my hair. Ignore that. But uh, I went to the store, got some things for the boat 
and it came home and this was on the doorstep. So we got some Makuma jackets. We got a fish slab hoodie and we got a fish slab beanie. Perfect timing, it is about to get cold. And we also got some Okuma rods. So before we get started on the boat, we're gonna open up these rods and check out all this awesome gear. All right, let's go ahead and open up the hoodie. Check it out. I didn't think I ordered this one, but I guess I did. But I'm happy I got it because this jacket is sick. All right, so I got it all opened up. Here is the Fish Lab hoodie. Got the logo on the back. Pretty freaking sweet. Dude, I'm so freaking excited for jackets. I haven't had a jacket in a while. I mean, it's been summer, but it's been, there's been a few cold days where I've been freezing, even out here working on the boat. Just, it's been freezing. And now we have a nice leather jacket and cold clothing. Here is a Fish Lab beanie. And then here is, ah, dude, this jacket is so sick. Okuma inspired fishing. This is water repellent. Oh, we got the fish lab on the arm as well. Didn't see that. Pretty freaking sick. But the plan is to have the hoodie underneath this big waterproof jacket here. And I will be super warm. And they just recently stocked my local lake with trout. So we're going to have to go hit that up and go catch some trout. I'm freaking pumped. Guys, I miss fishing so much. I've, I've just been so busy on this boat build. But I want to get it done. And then we can go out and fish every single day. Which is what I'm going to do. Once this boat is done, we're fishing every day. And that's it. Nothing else. Alright, let's see what we got here. I did order some more rods as well. And some reels. So they should get here whenever they are in stock. Alright, the first rod that we got is the Okuma Blue Diamond. Dude, that blue is sexy. I love it. That handle too, dude, that is a huge handle. Two-piece rod, let's put it together. Dude, it feels good to have a two-piece rod again. All my other rods are all one piece. All right, there's the first one and the second one. Looks like an SST trout rod. Dude, freaking beautiful. I love getting new fishing gear. Another two-piece. Yeah, this is definitely for the tactical green reel. Actually, you know what? No, this is not for this reel. This is for my, hold on. Okay, so now I remember what these rods are for. This rod here is for the Helios SX spinning reel. Finally get to bust this bad boy out. Check this out, that thing is sexy. Let's bust her out, put her on the rod. Boom. That combo is fire. You got the orange accents on the reel, and then you got the orange accents on the rod. <sighs> that looks so freaking good, dude. Yep, we're definitely taking this trout fishing tomorrow. It's supposed to be windy as balls tomorrow, but I'll still go out there and try. God, this reel, dude, so sick. We'll talk more about that reel tomorrow when we go fishing with it. And then the blue diamond is for the Inspira. Finally got a rod for the Inspira. It's been sitting on the shelf for a while. It has a home. Welcome home, buddy. I did use this reel a lot though. I just had to steal the rod from it, but now it has its own. Two new rod and reel setups. I'm freaking stoked. Now I really wanna go fishing. Dude, this one's freaking flimsy. The blue diamond. All right, so there is the rod and reels. Here's the jackets, the beanie, more reels, guys. If you need any fishing gear, go check out okumafishingusa.com. They always hook it up. They got the best gear out there and awesome apparel. If you need a jacket, guys, go check them out. Fish Lab Tackle has good hoodies too. They got beanies. Anything you need, they got it all. I'm actually gonna throw on this jacket and test it out because I wanna see how it looks and feels. All right, so I'm all decked out in the cold gear, and man, it freaking works. It is hot. It's not that cold here in Texas just yet, but 
once it gets there i am so ready for it i'll be out there in a 20 degree weather fishing for trout no problem whatsoever thanks to the gear but let's go ahead and get back to the jumbo build all right so here is where we are we got all the wires ran through here and all these wires go here and under this black box and then go down this rib so we got all the wires from the back of the boat to the front of the boat all hooked up to the fuse block and the switch panel here i still need to add the light for the ar logo and add all the lights to these hatches up front so we still need to add leds inside all these boxes and then just the ar and that will be the last two switches on the switch panel and then that will be done so i guess that is what we're doing next also I added these little six LED lights right here in the back and I don't like them. They're not very bright. So what I'm going to do is take these out and then connect the LED strips I have probably all around the box. That way these boxes are just lit up super bright for nighttime fishing. So I guess we'll start there. Let's go ahead and take out these lights, see what we can do with that. Actually, I'm going to be throwing these in there. Let's uh, connect these to a battery, see how bright they are. I know they're pretty bright because I used them in the last build, but I just want to make sure before I connect them. All right, so I just plugged in this light here and it is so much better. So we're going to be using this. And I got some 5200 here, fast cure to attach it to the lips. And got some clamps as well to just hold it in place until it dries. So my original plan was to use the wires that were already here, but they were too tight inside this wall to pull them out. So I had to pull them out from this end, and then I just shoved this wire for the light up here where the fish finder wires are, and then shoved them through here. So now my wires are on this side, and here are the wires I need to connect it to. And I just realized that this 3M tape is still on. I never used it. so. I turned the lights on last night and these lights were barely even bright. Not these, the ones I had on, they were pretty much nothing. So I was like, man, that sucks. So that is why I'm changing them out to this long LED strip. It will be a whole lot better, trust me. Also when I had the that last light, it was up in this corner and it only like shined just in this corner of the box just cause that gas tank was so high. I could see the cap. I, it was enough light to get by, but I was like, man, I don't want to just get by. I want to be able to freaking light this thing up. So that's why we're upgrading. And there's no real lip on this side to hide the light. So it just has to sit there and be seen. On this side though, we can angle it up and somewhat hide it. So this light might be a little blinding just because there's no lip to cover it up and you're gonna be looking directly at the light. So it might just be a little too bright, but I'd rather too bright than not bright enough. So we got the light installed. Now we just need to connect the wiring. So there is those lights on. Of course it's daytime, so it's not too bright, but it should light this thing up pretty good. Let's go ahead and connect these wires though. It's always good to have a little battery like this around the boat. Make sure your wire connections work and whatnot before you lock her in. That is all wired back up. We got the light installed on that side. Now we just need to work on this side.
So I got the LED strips inside the back hatches, got all these lights updated, and now it is time to add some light to the AR logo. So we got some red LEDs here. Let's open this up. Boom, we got 16 feet. We won't be needing 16 feet for just this area, but let's go ahead and plug this in and see how she looks. Glad that wire so tiny. All right, there it is. That's gonna look pretty sick behind the AR. So the thing is, is I did not plan to have this until after the fact. So what that means is there's no wire ran or anything like that, but I do see a rib right here and that will go into the rod locker. So the wire will come through this rib, go inside this box right here, and then come up through here and ride all the way along this piece of angle here and then come in through the box up here so i'm also going to need a white led strip which we have right here to run all the way sick we need a white light to run all the way through here so we have light in the rod locker so what i'm going to do is connect this white light and the red light for that no i can't if i want it on a separate switch dang it i want the ar logo on its own switch so i can have that on and off anytime so that means it's gonna have to have its own wire and power supply going all the way forward. So let's bail on the red light on this wall real quick. And we're gonna get the white light ran up here. And then we can run the wiring up behind it. Oh yeah. This roll should be enough to do this side and this side. All right, that gap is too small to get this through so I can't do it. So no lights inside the rod locker ends. So we'll just start attaching this. And if this stuff ever fails, I'll start using the uh, 5200 to attach it back. But for now, I'm just gonna use the 3M tape it comes with. Should be all right, hopefully. just got wire attached to the LED strip. I want to go ahead and test it out, make sure she works before we go any farther. All right, the LEDs work. And man, that's gonna be bright too at night. Good deal. I guess we can go ahead and finish off sticking it to the top here. And then I'm gonna drill a hole up here. And then that wire will run all the way across and then come down over here just to hide that wire. But let's go ahead finish taking off this backing and sticking the light. Ah! 